Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the great Dr. Bright. I am back. So, uh, let's hopefully get the rest of my team <laughs> up to level 40. Hopefully Jinx won't have any more issues. I think that's all for what I'm trying to do, right? Let me make sure. How close is Jinx level 40? They're only four levels away. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Alright, Brain Freeze. Let's get you to level 40 by killing a whole ton of Pokemon that probably don't belong at all in a dumpster. I just love slightly breaking the game. I'm guessing they turned it to a dragon type? Well, that makes it easier for me, because I can now just freeze them to death with Ice Punch. And Brain Freeze is invisible. Oh, never mind. Or not. <laughs> Blench, bitch. <laughs> That is an interesting looking Tangro. I actually like this design of Tangro better. Oh wait, do I actually? I think I have Great Balls. Ooh. Didn't know he was waking the Psychic. Those fucking magnitude. Let's bring out our Pokemon I can't really hurt. Go oh well. Alright. Let's try and catch you because no one else is here. Tell me I can't. And never mind, I have no Pokeballs. Magnitude 7, bitch. Magnitude 8. I guess I'm completely out of Pokeballs, apparently. Hoping that... Oh wait, I didn't even see... If any of my TMs can work for Brain Freeze, I could get them a f another good move. Let's see if I can give them Dark Pulse. Damn! Damn, okay, so I have absolutely nothing. Oh, 
Oh well, that sucks. That's Florine. I see. What the fuck you doing here? <laughs> Rain freeze probably won't handle more rain. Body slap. Aha! Fuck you, bitch. Magnitude. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. Owo cannot handle more rain. Didn't even hurt. Oh, yes. No. Okay, no, I'm okay. Somehow. Yes. Bitch. <laughs> You're the only one that makes sense right now that you're in here. How is it no sucker punch? Yeah, fuck you. Sack of shit. That would be a man time. Hopefully Brain Freeze doesn't die. That... No, God damn it. How are you missing? <laughs> oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, god damn it. Go, Alphonse. I believe in you. Because the Nam's pretty much at the brink of death. Oh, hello, Aderna. How's it hanging? Alright, Alphonse. Here's your sacred sword, the holiest of all swords. And cut this man tan in half. So I want it dead. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alphonse. That's a Psyduck. Why are you in the trash dump? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I just realized Brain Freeze is her is is fighting Psyduck, who has in the Pokedex states they're having a chronic migraine right now. So <laughs> this is funny. I don't know why it's so funny to me. Nice punch. Yeah, that probably didn't do much. How are you missing? I'm right in front of you. Uh, wake up, slap. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Punch. It is at one hell. Yeah, fuck you. You fuck duck bitch. You can't defeat me. The ultimate Pokemon master. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Get an ice punch, bitch. Used me first. You didn't even go first. <laughs> are, are you okay, madam? Well, probably not, because you're dead. Oh my gosh, it's Jiri. I don't know how I feel about killing Jiri. Catch it, I already have a-, a Jiri's- a... Jiri's not every dragon type. Right? <laughs> One, I have no Pokeballs and I already caught the pre-evolution to this and named it Jiri. Oh. Take it. No! Oh! So close. But is it a special Dragonair? Yeah, it is. It, it is a special one. Well, it's not Dragonair, it's a teeny. But it's like the pre evolution to it. Look. I can show you in a moment. Yeah. I have an update about my emotes. I have 10 of them. I... I did not get a Busta emote made because I wasn't sure like which picture I should use for Busta. So sorry. But here's the name of the emotes I chose to have made. A raid emote, a sad emote, and of course, bonk emote. A hype emote, a shock emote, a pet emote, angry emote, <laughs> heart emote, confused emote, and of course, me, my character, with a gun emote. Because <laughs> of course we have to have my character with a gun. <laughs> it's an emote. Man, yeah, it's an emote to spam because there's no busty emote. <laughs> Yeah, but they also, also with that update, they said it may take up to a month till the emotes are done because they're busy with outside stuff. But yes, God damn it! Yeah, so uh, 
here's good news about that too. Um, the fuck are you doing in trash dump? You said the place everywhere. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, um, up with the eat emote stuff. Uh, I may or may not got uh promoted, so I didn't use the stream money to pay for the emotes. I will not confirm nor deny. Thanks, book. So, so you are confirming it in game. D damn it. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, what's actually great is that I'm now in charge of a thing called Recovery. Which sends all the film into the area to get separated from good and byproduct. <laughs> and all I have to do all day is make sure it goes into the machine and sit on my ass. <laughs> That's it. That's all I do. I don't have to watch over people anymore. I no longer have to deal with people being stupid. <laughs> wait, wait, so you got demoted or uh, promoted? Uh, it is promoted because I get paid $2 more <laughs> than, than my oh. previous job. I was being paid like sixteen fifty. dollars while I was before. I'm paying eight, being paid eighteen fifty now. <laughs> I, I would consider it a promotion. <laughs> oh, full two hours more things, job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a job where I sit on my ass all day. How can I not take it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, oh fuck you game, of course you bring off the slack off the second I talk about just sitting on my ass all day for work. Fuck you. <laughs> the game knew what I was talking about. And this starts the arc of Brit entering her, her middle management era. <laughs> I'm just glad I don't have to deal with people's bullshit anymore. Wait, what? Why well, says welcome to the chat room? What? What the fuck? The stream end or something? Hello? <laughs> I guess we wait for Pokemon Supply. It refreshed for you, I think. It happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Usually OPS doesn't do that unless stream ends and then restarts. <laughs> I literally thought stream crashed. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Jinx versus Jinx. <laughs> Who's the more powerful Jinx? Dalton. <laughs> Yeah. Brain freeze, I believe in you. Keep slapping the bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So that means since I didn't use the Twitch money for emotes, all of that is going to go into something. It's going to go to overlays, as well as something new. Stream alerts. That way we don't have that weird box looking thing anymore. 
I'll get replaced with my character or something, like, most likely. Slap the bitch. That didn't work <laughs> as much as I wanted it to. Uh, give it all of your love. Okay, that did. You can freeze the burb. Okay, I'll I'll believe in bookworm and freeze the burb. I should have looked. I should listen to bookworm more. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it's a fucking dinosaur. I only sent it straight to the ice age with my ice punch, bitch. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that didn't work what I work as well as I thought it would. So yeah. It's a rock tape, which is actually super Perfective against ice. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> it eat everyone hurt itself in confusion. <laughs> it got confused whether or not to eat everyone. <laughs> Confuses me because ice is super fast. Effective against ground, so I don't know the difference between ground and rock. <laughs> that also confuses me as to why there's a ground type and a rock type in Pokemon. But oh well. Holy shit, it's a cute furry baby. I'm gonna murder it. Never mind. <laughs> Brain freeze can't murder it. So it's not me too. Oh yeah, I can change the fairy. Okay, so Engi, go in. It's not gonna be Jigglypuff is big deal. Uh, oh that's right, it's a child. So this is no longer a baby. Still, I'm going to murder it. No way. Oh yeah, Jigglypuff's the baby. Jigglypuff's the child. This is a teenager. <laughs> Wake up, Angie. Or Team Works. <laughs> How are you freaking missing? I'm asleep. Yeah, are you that bad at aiming, <laughs> Wiggly Top? Yes, Angie. Sit on them. <laughs> he rolls in their sleep, obviously. <laughs> That's actually a thing I have a problem with. I roll my sleep too much that I sometimes roll out of the bed. <laughs> Which is why Busta rolls to the side where I can roll out of bed. <laughs> Because he doesn't want me falling out of bed, which is cute. <laughs> but this is a good boy. Well, shit. <laughs> Apparently, Krusty the Clown killed Brain Freeze.
freaking heal brain freeze again. I am liking my team because mainly because all fully evolved Pokemon. <laughs> I don't have to worry about evolutions. Alright, what am I killing now? That is... It is mad that I killed its child. <laughs> Die, bitch. Switch. Nah, I killed it. <laughs> it is a fire type wall. Well, apparently it was too stupid to use a fire type move. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Buck. I'll die by my hand. I need three more levels, and I can stop using Jinx. Why? So I'm trying to get them all to level 40. Alright. Time to kill the puppy. Out of context, that sounds so bad. <laughs> With no context, just me saying, time to kill the puppy. <laughs> it sounds so bad. <sighs> oh, time to kill Jiri. Or not. It, it survived, somehow. <laughs> Jiri seated me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> it's the opposite of Jiri. <laughs> Alright, now only two more levels. Crest Snake as opposed to Sea Snake, yeah. I feel like your uh, Adurna's gonna quote that, what I just said, that Jir Jiri seated me. <laughs> well, die by my hand. My Ice Punch is greater than your Psychic Abilities. Probably get Jinx healed. Don't want to use potions. Because I hate fighting trainers in this game. <laughs> because have everything randomized so they can have a fucking god of all Pokemon on their team. <laughs> And get good low. Wow, thanks, book. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Aw, it's a fish that people want to fuck for some reason. I 
Gosh, I should only know one of the moves at whatever level they're at, right? Yeah. Your move doesn't work well against Nom. You're only delaying the inevitable. <laughs> Nom grew level 36. <laughs> That is Sylveon, the transgender Pokemon. I sadly have no Pokeballs. Transgrades. Damn. Yeah. I want to give the trans rights, uh, some head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you brushes so young? <laughs> You'll always be remembered in our hearts. Oh, Lumis. We killed the male version of you. Now it's time to kill the female version. It, it, it did nothing. And now it died. <laughs> that was pretty sad. God. <laughs> the pastry crab. We finally get to see its baby evolution instead of its full-grown evolution. Oh my god, it, it, it is adorable. But I have no Pokeball, so I must die. <laughs> One hit. Jesus. I'm hoping at some point I can get either Blizzard or Ice Beam for Jinx. Since that's the most powerful Ice move. Those two. I did not mean to use that. But that works. <laughs> Oh, it's Metacham. I want to punch it. That, as much as I was super effective, you barely did anything to me. And you die. Bitch. It's a grass baby. I'm gonna murder it. <gasps> oh, hey, Hatchet. Hey, uh, what's up? All right, so I'm gonna tell you the news so I won't get in a fight yet. But, um, Hatchet. Yeah. The emotes I have made, sadly, there's no busta emote. But, but the emotes that are going to be made is a raid one, 
a sad one, of course a bonk one, <laughs> a hype one, a shock one, a pet, angry, heart, confused, and of course, me with a gun. <laughs> I see. As well as I didn't use Twitch money to pay for it, even though I was going to. Because I got promoted to a job where I don't have to look after people anymore. And I sit on my ass and watch film get put in the machine. Nice. That's it. <laughs> that sounds mind-numbingly boring, but convenient. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, a I dinosaur. Hope you, I yeah. hope you can have your phone around to entertain yourself <laughs> yeah uh yeah i get paid two dollars more nice yeah oh that's just which means that what? which is actually a good thing i got the another good thing to cut the job hatchet hmm? is that instead of just using the twitch money for overlays and emotes, I can now use it for overlays and sh better stream alerts. Nice. You know, instead of those w weird black and red boxes. Yeah. <laughs> my Festus decided to come up into my lap and fart. I think the. Like a bitch. I think I'm going to keep the treat stream alert the same way as it is, because it's just a D-class opening random cell doors in an elevator and seeing anomalies. It kind of looks right. like the D-class is giving anomalies food. <laughs> that is not a Matang. What the fuck? That is not a Matang. <laughs> Matang is supposed to be a two-armed blue metal thing that is a spider <laughs> right you must catch the spider i have no pokeballs fuck it's a dead spider bye bye spider <laughs> if only we had balls oh <laughs> no balls. Ooh, that's actually, I think that's a good move. Hold on. Avalanche. Black screen. Okay, there we go. An attack move that inflicts double the damage if the user has been hurt by the target in the same turn. Okay, that actually sounds pretty good. Hmm. I'll take that. <laughs> so, now my Pokemon can cause avalanches at any time they want. <laughs> uh... Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> How are humans still alive? <laughs> Hello, yes, child. Take this creature that could bury an entire city in snow. <laughs> Hope you have fun with it. Don't be irresponsible, Wags Finger. Yeah. <laughs> Here, here's a mass ball. Catch that Pokemon that can reform the entire Earth with its landmass powers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Or catch God, yeah, that too. Catch God. Here, here's a Pokeball. Go, go kidnap God. Yeah. You make him work for you. <laughs> Take his lunch money. Oh. Are you gonna try and kidnap Satan too? Is there a Pokemon equivalent of Satan? Yes. Yeah, uh, G G Giratina. Yeah, huh? Giratina. I, 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 now, can well, I can show you a pick up it. One sec. Gotcha. In that case, uh, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave Satan free. Just kidnap God. 
And to be honest, I actually love- Oh my gosh, we're fighting a Angie. We're fighting Angie. Oh no. Even though I can easily bring out a Pokemon that can defeat this, uh, this Angie with ease, we are doing an Angie versus Angie fight. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. My fucking alarm's going off for some reason. God damn it! Shut up, alarm. Oh. No. Shut up. Like to see attachment. <laughs> Forgot to turn off my alarm. <laughs> So, Satan in this universe is a six-legged sauropod with black wings. Okay. Yeah, they also live in a... in a, a dimension where everything is just, like, distorted and all over the place. It's actually really cool looking. Yeah, the distortion world. Holy shit, Anki. Can you have some chill? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Anki. <laughs> what do you give the design, though, Patch? Oh, wait, I just realized Anki's a woman. Bookworm confirmed that for me. She is you fire. Just noticed that. Okay. Uh, what, what did you ask? Aderna, I was blowing my nose. Yeah. Uh, how, I asked, how do how do you like um, the design? I it's pretty cool. Okay, so what I realized, I have three women on my team, one agender, and two men. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. <laughs> I just love how the agender Pokemon is just called Oh Well. <laughs> Not even given a proper name. Just Oh Well. <laughs> As an agender, I do not know how to feel about that. <laughs> Aw, it's a dragon baby. I'm gonna murder it. <laughs> we had the same thought, at shit. I don't like its stupid face. <sighs> okay, now it's so you. Oh, what? so you've still just been running around in this dump for forever, huh? Not very long. Oh God! Oh, what the? <laughs> Explode! You know it's actually. You know what's, what's really sad about this hatchet? Mm. About Exploud? It barely ever gets to close its mouth. Fuck. <laughs> so it just opened the mouth all the time. <laughs> oh god, I just saw Bookworm's message about the dragon Pokemon. Bookworm said super late term abortion. What if we kill yeah. the dragon Pokemon? <laughs> I have chat open. Booker, what the fuck? You have no right to react like that. Alright, let's see what Engie does to explode. Burn its esophagus. <laughs> Apparently even though the patch chat wasn't a target, Engie attacked them as well. And killed the pet <laughs> 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 he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck at all. <laughs> they just like murder. <laughs> you named them well. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or you created a self fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. Oh, apparently, Wake Up Slap is, ex is super effective against Exploud. It's a fight. Yeah, what is it? You're... 
Huh? So, trying to remember, you're trying to get your Pokemon up to level 40, was it? Yeah. Which means Brain Freeze is almost ready. Just by touching this Pokemon, Brain Freeze got paralyzed. They can no longer move their body. Damn. I really wish they kept the autocross in Far Cry 5. <laughs> Pokemon said, yeah, she stuck her finger in an outlet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think, Bright, did, have you ever played Far Cry 4? Um. Fuck, which one was that about? Uh, you're in the. Um, fictional neighbor to India called Kirat? Yes. Okay. I have it. For Xbox, yeah. yeah. Alright. Hell, then, in that case, that that could also be a fun game to play on stream. Yeah. And then we get to experience the stupidity of Herc. More. I think I... It's not that I got bored of it, I think it's that there was another game at the time I, I wanted to play. When I got up to the point where you have to do a sneak-in mission, the safe one, I think? I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Uh, so I think I, I, I got it when it first came out. Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, about midway through the game, you're able to get this cool little... A sidearm called the autocross or it's basically just a semi-automatic very portable crossbow oh that's right I know why I stopped playing that Far Cry 4 because after I started getting into Far Cry 4 I got Resident Evil Revelations 2 and we know what happened after uh -huh. I got that <laughs> I played that non-stop until I became a veteran. <laughs> it's the only game that I'm a veteran at. And there's no competitions for it. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I guess you, you might be a veteran at fucking pointlessly building iron golems. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, I, I really wish that the autocross was in Far Cry 5. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's only in this game, and it never shows up again, to my knowledge. Damn it, Bookworm. I saw their message that says, Yay, more baby murder. Jesus! <laughs> Let me make a competition then to show off your skills as fuck. <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> I just love book. seeing books say messages like that out of nowhere. Oh, sorry. Book, book, listen, listen. <laughs> we already have Bright to say shit like that. You don't need to. <laughs> I mean, Mantike is a baby. I mean, you're, you weren't wrong. It was a. Baby Stingray Pokemon. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck are you? <laughs> that is a psychedelic-fueled three-headed ostrich. <laughs> fuck, I'm trying to remember what's weak against... What's stronger against, uh... Psychic... Psychedelic type. Shame we still have no balls. Oh, right. Uh, hatchet. Hmm. Sorry. Okay. Alright. So, 
there was a time where I called a, a dr Oh yeah, right. Oh, I think yeah. it was either ghost or I think it was either ghost or um, uh, poison that was that is very effective against psychic types. Oh, dark works. <laughs> Oh, I just went into the void for a moment. <laughs> anyway, um, hatchet. Uh, when we were fight, when I was fighting a grass snake Pokemon, I called it Jiri, and then it's it used a thing called Leech Seed, and I said, <laughs> and I immediately said Jiri seeded me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Ghost kind of works against psychic poison is weak to psychic, says Book. Yes, yeah, soon you'll be able to use the bonk emote. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're getting a bonk emote too, God. Yeah. Until then, they use the chew bonk emote. Potatoes. <laughs> Why didn't she use potatoes? Because I like potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> that made it sound like, like, Mr. Krabs was choking. Oh God damn it! Not the vagina. Oh wait, I forgot to switch out my Pokemon. We're gonna run away from the vagina. Run for the vagina! <laughs> oh my just... god, those are definitely getting quoted. <laughs> run away from the vagina. I think that we makes both got bonked. Up, right. Right, unfortunately, I think we are incels now. <laughs> Why does this whale not look as big? <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant Why it whale. Have... Why does it have four pectoral fins? Don't worry about it. And it looks like it has two dorsal or two uh pelvic fins. Also, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's, munchlack. It's a child. Kill it. I'm gonna drown it. Good. Oh my god. It can swim. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Wait, right? You looked at that thing and thought it wouldn't be able to swim. <laughs> Wait, hatchet! I'm gonna make uh, eat everyone roll into a ball. Use roll out. How did it live? <laughs> Wait, wh why did you call it? Why did you call it eat everyone and not like uh, what was it called? What was that? What was that called? I had- remember I had others choose the names for my Pokemon. I did not name the Pokemon that. Who chose eat everyone? I think Dragon. That tracks. Dragon- Dragon, you fucking mm. had a chance to choose, like, Jonah or- <sighs> I think there is a, a person we can talk to to change their name. I don't know where they're at, though. Wait. Oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, though. Attention, please. No. <laughs> though, uh, on with the overlay stuff, because I, I don't know what I want to change my starting soon intermission and ending stream ending thing to. So I want to change it from... I want to change it to something that influences my character. Yeah. 
You are gay. <laughs> no. I'm biromantic. Get oh. it right, bitch. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's correct. You are gay. Fuck you. <laughs> you are gay. <laughs> I just love the image of that ch tiny little child munchlax seeing a giant whale form into a ball and roll on top of him and still live. <laughs> Two hours later. Shut up. Oh my gosh, it's a pre evolution to a Pokemon everyone likes to fuck. That's still fucking. Edge it! <laughs> oh my god. She's kinda cute. Oh wait, it's, it's a male. Yeah. He's kinda cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <What>? Pan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's very clearly a femboy in that case. Or I'll just do it to myself. <laughs> Bookman also bonked you. Yeah, I see. Stop hurting yourself in confusion, damn it! <laughs> um. So is it just bonking itself in confusion? Yes! God damn it! Potatoes! Finally! Bookworm says no, I want to hurt myself in confusion. <laughs> I think that's how my brain goes whenever I stream. <laughs> Bright hurt themselves in confusion. <laughs> and that's how I say my stupid shit all the time. <laughs> I can assure you, my cure is most effective. No, I don't want it. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, also... I am thinking... of next week... Of course, there'll be Chapter 1 fix-ups, but there'll also be... Horror Story streams next week. Hmm. And this time, instead of just taking horror stories from creepasta.com, holy fucking shit, that's legendary, but anyway, uh, I'll also, uh, be grabbing stories from SCP Wiki. Uh. Well, mainly the Wonders Library, because that's where most of the stories are. Uh, isn't... Isn't this one of those Pokemon that she wants to fuck? Yes. I think. Um, I don't know. Right? And also, she wants to get, um... Also, she wants to get eaten by eat everyone, so... True. Or, or she, Jonah wa so she wants to be a Jonah. <laughs> Lugia made it rain. Hmm. What the dog doing? What? 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 <laughs> I know you are a psychic flying type. Why? Jesus Christ, I almost died. God damn it, shut up. <laughs> and it's dead. 
Damn, shame it's not us in no. Oh uh, yeah. Now it could have worked. Oh well. <laughs> Brain freeze held it in there. Shut up with the damn alert soundboard. No. Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's among us. Oh yeah, Chu would no Chu would like nom. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Oh shit, eat everyone's gonna die. Oh, wait. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am now regretting. I am now <laughs> regretting entering this chat. <laughs> You're welcome. You started this story. Alright, let's see if Angie kills us Pokemon in one hit. Two hours later. Where's the damn drum? Yep. Damn it, I was late. Haha. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what? The fuck? Groundless. Oh my god. Why? They put Cirrus's dog in the game? A Chinese Growlithe says book. Oh wait, did I get cut off? No, I heard you. Okay. I'm gonna drown it. And it's dead. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> when I die. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Wait. What? That Growlithe we fought apparently was a normal a normal dragon type. Huh. How did a dog turn into a dragon? <laughs> dragon dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a bird. I'm gonna drown it. Why would you drown your relative? Fuck off. Don't kill the dinosaur. Well, to be fair, he did kill um, ostriches earlier. True. Made those Man, ostriches everyone died. double dead. Oh no, triple dead. All right. Oh yeah, true. Oh whoa, I believe in you. Beat the shit out of them. With your dynamic punch. Emotional damage. <laughs> and you missed. <laughs> <laughs> and you missed. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but when Owo... Nice try, book. Every time I see a will miss that dynamic punch, it reminds me of the Game Grumps moment where they just and he fired and he missed. <laughs> that moment. Could be trying to freeze the bird. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. Man, shut the fuck up. Oh wait, I need to heal, eat everyone. Damn, oh well, did overkill. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm gonna play that every time Angie comes out. Rito never shut the fuck up. Oh, wait, I know what, what I could do. There we go. Peaceful serenity. What? Don't worry about it. Oh, you fucking turned down the soundboard, didn't you, you bitch? <laughs> Maybe. Turn that shit back up. Turn it back up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but Bright, we're giving the stream content. You would deprive Bookworm of his content? Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. You know you want to hear the soundboards. Uh... Bookworm says, yes, think of the entertainment. Oh, this is a rare combi. <laughs> Come. Yeah, it has that red patch, which means it, it can evolve. If it doesn't have the red patch, it can't evolve. I see. You don't have any Pokemon balls. Right. So I'm going to drown it. Good job. Also, turn the soundboard sure. back on. Now you're drowning a bee. Same on you, Bright. Alright, I'll turn it up, but not as loud. I like That's me. fair. Let's start. No, no, no. no. Put, put, no, put it on the highest. Sound <laughs> Jesus, I don't need my Stern. ears to bleed Stern. 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 Make your ears bleed. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, Simipor? This creature gives uh, me mixed It's emotions. a water monkey. Yeah, it... Yeah, it's from, uh, Generation, uh, 5. Uh, I'm gonna punch it I, with my needle arm. <laughs> I have mixed emotions. It is almost dead. <laughs> it is scolding me <laughs> for attacking it. And I got burnt. No. It is dead. <laughs> Oh wait, we already have a Pokemon named Nom. Yeah. Hot water bed says book. What the fuck? What? <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? What? It's Cavalier. It's definitely a Delta Pokemon. Which oh, means God. it's like a fan made Pokemon. Uh, As Cavalier I mean... is trans now, says Buck. Why is it carrying two candy canes as weapons? <laughs> well, it's about to be sat on. Hot. Literally. <laughs> oh, wait. Angie came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very tight book. Yeah, I like the fact how they made... That is not a Pidgeotto. <laughs> I know it is. That, that's a bird with a snake tail. Oh, I think that's for a no. basilisk. I think that's what it's called. Uh. You know, the... Chicken serpent thing. Yeah. Yeah, the um shit. 
forgot what I was gonna talk about. God damn it. Fuck you, Pidgeotto. Were you going to talk about birds? No. Why not? Because fuck you. Birds. You know, Hatchet, having a Pokemon and create avalanches isn't as bad as one of my other Pokemon. They can literally mess around with the fault lines and create Bruh. earthquakes. <laughs> also, who is this? Uh, a flower fairy type Pokemon, which means it is super weak to Anki. <laughs> Anyway, I also want to fuck this one. <laughs> what is It's... Oh yeah, it is a reference to a Basilix. Pokemon looked it up. And it was a dark dragon type. It used aromatherapy before I attacked it. Hot. Get set on, bitch. Extra hot. Literally. <laughs> Wait, I just wonder how much would it hurt to be set on some a heavy metal thing that's on fire? Very. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's pollution. The Pokemon. Uh, uh, kill it. Kill it now. We're gonna drown the pollution. Wait, no, then that's just gonna pollute the water. Or, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's <Wow>. dead. <laughs> Good news, you probably wouldn't feel too much after too long. Fair. You know, I'm kind of wondering, how heavy is Angie? No, Garbodor's pollution fair. Oh yeah, that was air pollution. You know, it says somewhere in here where you can find out how heavy they are. I think. Or not. That's... Poke oh yeah, it's in the Pokédex. Pika, bitch. Why did you say Pika, bitch? No reason. I would like my game to stop lagging, please, so I can see how heavy... Uh, so I can see how heavy Angie is, please. Yeah, this is absolutely a remixed version of the Lavender Town theme. I like it. Eek. Oh, we actually did fight God, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when, but we did it. Oh, there you are. Right. How heavy is Angie? They are six foot eleven and seven hundred ninety-three pounds. You would die if you actually got sat on by this creature, <laughs> no <laughs> like <shit>. instantly. <laughs> I feel like that's comparable to a good-sized cow. Just a... <laughs> a 
I just imagine, like, to bring bringing Angie to a cow competition. <laughs> just what go is over. A, what is a cow competition? Never heard of that. It's like when they uh see which cow has the best milk or who's the most bulky cow. You never heard of that? I live in the middle of a, a very farm heavy area and I have never heard of that. I've seen two of them. Well, we have like, <clears throat> we have somewhat kind of like cow competitions. I haven't like actually seen the like, what they're done during the competitions. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe I have like. I'm willing to guess that it's probably a part of the yearly fair that goes on around here. Probably. And it's just I never go to said fairs. Yeah. So basically, they go over, they go over to you, and they see a six foot tall, on fire, dinosaur thing, and they ask, "What is this?" This is my cow. <laughs> this is my cow. You see, it's it's got a it's got a bell. Yeah. And a nose ring, you see? Yeah, it's the a cow. The, the nose ring and bell's on fire. <laughs> Would you like to try its milk? <laughs> well, how do you get its milk, sir? <laughs> well, you see, first you get on your knees. Ah. <laughs> uh. Bookworm couldn't find a specific name for it. <laughs> and he got bonked by Bookworm. <laughs> so it's probably just part of, like, a farm fair. Its milk is very high in protein. What is it? What is it, Busta? Oh god, I'm gonna leave you with a Pokemon that kidnaps po uh, other kids. Except fat children. It hates fat children. It just can't pick up fat children. No, it specifically said in the Pokedex it hates fat children. Oh, it hate. Oh, like <laughs> this game's version? No, like in actual Pokemon lore. Oh, so it's just canonically fat phobic. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was just like, like it can't pick them up, so it leaves them alone. No, it's just like it actually hates them. What the yes. fuck? <laughs> why? Why is that a canon thing? That there is a fat phobic Pokemon. That's so unnecessary. Fat phobic because of a skill issue. Get strong, Drift Loom. You there, Bright? I guess Bright stepped away. Me? Yeah. Sorry, what was that? I was trying to shit my eye. No. Maybe I had to go do something with Busta. What do you want, Hermes?
My rather reclusive cat Hermes has arrived to acquire head pats. Cute. It feels odd that Bright would just leave without saying anything. Bookworm played right? Ay -ay -ay. She had fallen asleep. Oh fuck, that's a yeah, that might that's possible. Fuck, and they turn down the soundboard so that's less likely to wake them up if we spam it. Try DMing them. What an entertaining stream this must be. Oh yeah, Brett's VTuber model isn't freaking out, so I think she's still at the table. So yeah, she probably just passed out. <laughs> Wait, maybe Driftloon took Bright. <laughs> <laughs> 
his bookworm. Well, Bright said she was, um, well, the thing is, Bright said she was, uh, Bright has said she was fat. Oh, yeah, true. So the Driftlin is fat phobic to her. Damn. So the drift room wouldn't do that. Yeah. You think she might wake up if we just start incessantly calling her a bird? Oh. Oh, sound from... Sound from... Bright sound. Hey. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, Bright, you're a bird. Potatoes. Oh, she's awake, Hi. just went to intermission. Okay. That feels like such an odd thing to combine. Just, I'm not trying to harden you along with... <laughs> oh, yeah. Still not there, Bright? Might as well go check Twitter while we wait.
bright back, says Bookworm. Don't think so. What, what do you mean you heard breathing? My mic was turned off. What the fuck were you hearing? <laughs> well, we were hearing feedback here and there. What happened? Did you pass this out? Oh, no, 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 no. I had to take dogs out. Oh. Yeah, and dog sitter's also here, so there's that. So I don't have to worry about Buster right now. Ah, uh, gotcha. So yeah, that's that's what happened. Pokemon <laughs> says it could have been another tab of mine. Ah. Uh, my brain is going to melt at the levels of purposeful ignorance that people engage in to be anti-landback. 
Uh, also, time to kill the fat phobic bitch. <laughs> well, that was quick. Right, have I ever mentioned Lynn? Or, like, have you ever heard of Land Back? I, no. I kind of want to ramble about this. I don't know what that is. Um. The <laughs> book runs. Oh gosh, that drama. I usually tend to avoid most drama, to be honest. <laughs> it's it's less to do with drama. Well, it is drama, but it's it's more on a political level. Mm -hmm. Basically, land back is the position of uh wanting to give Native Americans back primarily unused federally owned land. That's right. that's like the main gist of it, from my understanding. It's it's just give back land that is currently being unused or mismanaged by the federal government, and make sure that natives can like properly take care of the land and actually live as they once uh, did, rather than being sequestered to uh, reservations. Let's see, land back isn't drama. The drama is certain person reacting poorly to it. Yeah. Hey, Hatchet, um, before you continue, while you're talking about yeah. this important topic, my dog is just taking his dog bowl and whacking it against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Does that mean that they're pro or against land back? I don't Maybe know. They're angry. Maybe they're angry at people being stupid <laughs> probably but yeah basic but uh go ahead Adora. go ahead i didn't really say anything oh okay um besides like returning federally owned unused land which to be clear makes up approximately 28 percent of u.s land mass ah like 28% of the land in the U.S. of A is just not being used. Mm. And the idea is give said unused land back to the people that it was stolen from, basically. That makes sense. Yeah. And uh, the other thing that I've seen pretty commonly, which I think is also very agreeable, is uh, giving back... Uh, privately owned land that was once uh, sacred sites that's also not really being used commonly which is you know like probably a touch more complicated than the publicly owned land but it's still like I think a very reasonable thing yeah like I, I have a friend who mentioned that like uh, they came from a fairly small native tribe in California and, like, one of their most important sacred sites was privately owned by some random guy. And the only reason they were able to go and do a lot of their cultural practices is because that guy was amicable to letting them use the land. Like, that's not the case most of the time, and it's really fucked. Yeah. That's, that's basically what land back is. It's a fundamentally anti-colonialist position about reading Native Americans with a greater amount of respect and having them be allowed to live in a way that's more appropriate for how their cultures did before colonization, right? Literally one Google search is all it takes to see that this is what land back is about mm -hmm. but you have so many idiot like quote unquote leftists who will hear about land back and immediately assume that it's talking about kicking all the white people out of America what yeah the, like I'm not even joking they just immediately go to oh you're wanting to kick all of all colonizers out of America because I guess they have a complex about assuming that everyone wants to treat white folk the same way that white folks' ancestors treated them. Mm -hmm. It's 
it's genuinely just so absurd. Like, it, it's, like, again, I feel like a part of me feels so baffled about this because I learned about it originally from some native friends. And it's like, from the get-go, when it's actually explained, this is, like, very reasonable thing. Like, it's a very understandable thing. Yeah. But it feels like people just glom onto very minor elements of word choice and decide because they hear the idea of natives having autonomy over land again that means they're going to kick everyone out like i i think i i put it one way on twitter by like saying it, it genuinely feels like these people watched Attack on Titan and somehow came to the wild conclusion that everyone who is oppressed ends up turning into Aaron Yeager. It's just... Uh... <laughs> Book words that you must word something perfectly so that I can understand it. Oh, well. God. Uh, but yeah, it's just like, it's one Google search away. I literally, like, this is not hyperbole. I, to test this, punched in, uh, what is land back to Google? And one of the very first things directly mentions, hey, this movement isn't about displacing people. <laughs> Uh, it's just like an incredibly infuriating colonialist uh, framework that's just constantly being used. This idea that it's like on race-based lines, it's always us versus them and you need to assume the worst about the mm -hmm. intentions of people who are just wanting to not be treated like dirt it's right. the same basic it's the same basic thing as uh anyone who acts like giving trans people equal rights is going to cause the collapse of western society like it's it's the same level of bullshit just oh, I... slightly differently worded to make it sound leftist oh Good. the funny thing is it didn't seem like and I was like looking at them like, um, these people are literally just promoting the like white supremacist, like yeah. white genocide narrative. I'm like, it's yeah. not even it's, like, it's yeah. I think it's, I don't think it's directly, uh, I don't think it's the exact same thing, but it definitely reeks of the same sentiments. Just this over-the-top paranoia that the 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 non-whites are going to try to get it get rid of the whites uh... yeah also hash it uh when you were talking about that stuff, there was one sentence when I said no to a certain Pokemon move that just made me laugh on the inside. I didn't want to laugh out mm. loud while you were talking about that. No, you're good, you're good. Yeah, uh, it, it said, eat everyone did not learn amnesia. <laughs> eat everyone did not learn amnesia. Yo. Oh my god. <laughs> it's such a perfect sentence. You there, learn how to forget everything now. <laughs> no more memories. And whatever you do, don't eat that random bell pepper. Or not bell pepper, chili pepper. Oh god. Uh, oh yeah, Hatchet. While in the 
while we added more implement of me talking with Ch uh, Dr. Rowler in chapter one, mm -hmm. you were gone, but I added in a sentence while I was eating. Dr. Clef was passing by and I give them the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it tracks. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Although I guess that's one question. Is Dr. Clef going to show up later in the story? Uh, he's gonna be... I mean, he is mentioned uh, in the test logs in Chapter 3. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking the, like, my, my, my initial brain goes, wait, that might seem like a cannon being put on stage that isn't going to get fired. But... No. Yeah, it, it, it will yeah, be that, connected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It took aim at me, like it was ready to attack when it had one health. Uh, <laughs> Sir. <laughs> just like a guy holding a gun, aiming it at you very carefully, with the safety on, <laughs> while you're punching him in the gut. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Hatchet, is this uh, is this a tree or a rock? Uh, I say it's kindling. Burn it. It's actually a rock. I don't care. Burn it. Or drown it. Whatever. I want it dead. I hate this thing. <laughs> You're the weirdo? Yeah. Can't burn this rock, says Buck. It's not coal. <laughs> Oh look, it's the regular three-headed bird. Oh, you see, Bookworm, most rocks can be burned. They just won't uh. have a chemical process of changing what they are. Oh, Hatchet, you know something? You can still burn them. Yeah, you know something interesting about this Pokemon hat? It can well, learn to move fly. Up? It can learn to move fly. That bitch doesn't have wings. It can learn it. <laughs> it just learns how to levitate. Yeah. Someone actually drew it, uh, drew art where they had the three heads spin in a helicopter motion. That's how it flew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Yeah. It, it oh, used yeah, acupuncture. Maybe. Maybe it somehow uses its two, like, left and right heads as wings. Yeah, and when you get to your destination, two of the heads just have a concussion. <laughs> uh. That leaves me to wonder, it, what the fuck? What the fuck is what? <laughs> what am I looking what? at? What? How did it I get do not... worse? I do worse. not like that thing's creeper face. It got worse. Don't let this thing anywhere near a school. Yep. Drown it. Good. <laughs> get get out of here. Sink into the ground. It's a thundercloud? Apparently not, because it would not have been damaged by water that that much. Well, I mean, a large amount of vaporized water would probably dissipate if it was, like, covered in liquid water. <laughs> it's just a normal-ass Lucario. It's Anubis. <laughs> It's dancing with swords, Hatchet. Damn. Its attack is up. It's dead. <laughs> that, that didn't help much. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, oh, yes. I should just, uh, 
I, I just got hit with an attack that took half of my health bar. This is a good sword. time to start charging something. Aww. Pretty sauropod. Dinosaur versus dinosaur. Oh, wait. I freaking oh. uh, I freaking went out and mowed a couple days ago, and now I'm dealing with sunburn on my damn face. Oh my! Uh. All right. It's it's time we uh since they're two different genders, we're having them fuck and make a baby. There to what? go. <laughs> there will be an egg eventually. It's only one didn't die. <laughs> Alright, so I hate to tell you this, but <laughs> most animals are not going to be able to take a, like, incredibly hot metal schlong and survive. <laughs> and can't necrophilia. Well, it, okay, it is an ice type, so... Depending. Wouldn't that just make it worse because, like, it would start melting? No, I, I think that was an, a fairy type, so I use a uh, steel type move. It might be ice fairy, I don't know. <laughs> Angia necrophiliac. Yeah, I already uh, said that. <laughs> you oh. just ignored me. <laughs> Listen, I'm playing solitaire, okay? That's being the best for Endeavor, apparently. <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> oh, it's rock ice. Hey, War says. Then how is it so weak to steal? Because I'm pretty sure rock or ice isn't weak to steel. Well, I mean, it's ice and you're fire. Right? Yeah, but I use a steel type move, so no fire was used. Oh, right. Ice is weak to steel since when? I never thought ice was weak to steel. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Steel is harder than ice. Yeah. I do like the fact that, uh, Fairy is weak to steel. Okay. You know why, right? No. Because in folklore, like, people use steel to capture fairies and fae. I'm pretty sure it's iron. Well, I've heard some stories where it's steel. Uh. So, it, I, I mean, I guess it's either or? It it, prob it probably varies by region. Yeah. Fae, fae lore was kind of all over the place. Yeah. So I looked yeah, up. Yeah, both says iron mostly. Oh, super effect against fairy, ice, and rock. Okay, so it was double weak to steel, because <laughs> both ice and rock are weak to steel, and it was an ice rock type. <laughs> yeah. And Bovalo says, but steel represents most metal, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, steel does contain iron. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, had yeah, the sword sound. I. I wish they added something like that in actual Pokemon games, like the recent ones. Where they add that, like, an, a, a certain sound where it's like four times effective. Like, really super effective. Cause they uh, do it in this game, it's like that weird sword sound that you would hear. Uh. Oh my gosh, it's Jiri. Damn. 
looks like we sadly have to kill Jiri. Not every... Not everyone is Jiri, right? All snake Pokemon are Jiri. Deal with it. It's not how that works. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fundamentally not how that works. Yes, it is. Apparently, yeah. Jiri is now a deity. <laughs> yep, they're the god of all snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Give Jerry a new role, Snake God. I will do that. <laughs> so Jerry, Snake God, Mobile to God of Beaches. Right, the God of Birds. A oh, fuck off, you know that that's not the god of uh, what I'm the god of bitch. <laughs> you are dying your brain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're all accumulating deities. So what are we making the Momo cult? Doesn't that already exist? No, Momo keeps disbanding it. Well, then we just make it again. <laughs> we just don't tell Momo this time. <laughs> I'm tempted to make it a group chat that has everyone but Momo, or we just call it the Momo cult. <laughs> that sounds so mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, girls referring to our cult as it has a very low shelf life. Alright, eat everyone is almost done. That is a very strange statement. <laughs> eat like, everyone is almost done. <laughs> kind of hard to give the person the, the cult is for praise if they aren't there to receive it. Well, if Momo joins, they're just gonna disband the group chat. What are fighting now to kill? Oh my gosh, it's pollution. <laughs> You're in a garbage dump. This is the most appropriate Pokemon. Oh god, don't make it wet. <laughs> that sounds now wrong. <laughs> now there's just garbage water everywhere. <laughs> Without context, don't make it wet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you s bright? Why are you sexualizing the pile of garbage? I hate to tell you this, but there's porn of that Pokemon. Yes, I'm very well aware. It's <laughs> one of the internet's rules. <laughs> I'm guessing Adurna's having internet issues. Either that or they heard me talk about por uh, porn of the trash heap. <laughs> Uh... Oh yeah, this is the one Pokemon that uh, uh, Nintendo kind of pissed me off by, because in black and white when it was first introduced, this was a mythical. Like you can only catch one. Huh. Then after that they they decided, oh yeah, we'll allow you to catch multiple. It's no longer mythical. Haha. Uh -huh. Why the fuck do you introduce it as a mythical, then take it away immediately? Oh, well, you see, everyone wants this weird bug. 
Booker says a shame we did have the context though. Bookhorn didn't want us to have the context. <laughs> I see you've gotten a phone alert. Huh? I heard you got a phone alert. Oh. <laughs> How did you... How did you miss a rollout? You're a giant fucking whale. It's a fast foliage dog thing. Oh, it's a cat that people make porn of. Yeah. That that's a thing. For stream tonight. Oh, oh it's right. I could just go. I could just go look at stream schedule. Yeah. Well, we're, well, it doesn't say because I put mystery indie horror game, but it's we're fin we're gonna try and finish ba uh, the bad dream fever tonight. Oh, like you think you're that close to the end? Maybe. Because then when you, like, get really close to solving the, the cure for the ink. So I'm pretty sure we're, we're close to the end. And plus, the game is said to take only, like, I think up to two hours. So it's not uh. a very big game. We just, like, do a whole bunch of bullshit. <laughs> That's why we haven't finished it. <laughs> Basically. <Yeah. laughs> Once it saw Angie, it decided that to give itself aromatherapy. It knows it's going to die. <laughs> uh, I would do my thing that I do for Angie, but I am currently laying back. Uh. I also love the fact that Angie can't get poisoned. And you can't get poison? Yeah. They try to use poison powder, but it says it does not affect Angie. Why why is Angie immune to poison? Don't worry about it. You saying don't worry about it just makes me worry about it. What did you do to Angie? Nothing. I, I did not. I did not give it steroids. You conducted horrible experiments on the dinosaur, didn't you? No. God damn it! Stop throwing smoke screens, you bitch. And it's dead. Eat everyone only has one more level to go. Damn it, can Pokemon that eat everyone's weak to stop appearing? 
I don't want to keep sending Angie out. <laughs> At this rate, you probably could have just not focused much on Angie and just focus on everyone else. Yeah, I was starting to think my two powerhouses on my team is Alphonse and Angie. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is not what Luke's Hill looks like, if I remember correctly. That looks like a fucking Neopet. <laughs> the Neopet 7 invaded Pokemon. Well, damn. <laughs> that was kind of sad. Be gone, copyright infringement. Oh, it was steel and poison. Or was, it's this book. Yeah, it was. What the fuck is that? It's a shelmet. Oh, for f oh god. Uh... <laughs> you okay, Hatchet? No. You don't like Pokemon puns? I. You know the answer to that question. What about the name Bramblin? You know that, uh, Tumbleweed Pokemon? I tend to have less issue with that. I don't even know why. Fair. Oh, it turns back. <clears throat> we did not turn? talk at y about you at all. I was just, like, we obviously didn't. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, it's a fairy baby legendary. No, it's actually a psychic baby legendary. I wanna drown it. It used in prison. Imprisoned the whale. No, it imprisoned itself. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what that move does. Was how is that useful? Stop using protect, you bitch. I was gonna say, imprison the whale, make like Sea World. Oh uh, yeah, this is the the legendary spirit of emotions. I see. This Pokemon gave people emotions. How do you feel about that? Fuck. <laughs> you so asked me. Huh? You're like, hey. This Pokemon gave you emotions. What sort of emotions does that make you feel? Which means if you think about it, this Pokemon makes people horny. Uh, <laughs> which one? Me uh, Mesprit. Oh. Ooh. I only have two Pokemon left to get to level 40. And now... Now we just have this giant ass guy. <laughs> or woman. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> How does he move that fast? <laughs> Motherfucker's an abnormal titan. <laughs> uh, create an earthquake. Magnitude 7. <laughs> You're causing earthquakes in a fucking garbage pile. Yep. Why? <laughs> it kills them faster. I don't... I don't like that. It's Jerry.
Another earthquake, magnitude 7. <laughs> it dies instantly. You know, like, Jerry is a snee, snee snake. Are you fucking kidding me? Every time. <laughs> snee snake. <laughs> every fucking time I end up saying that. Um, Jerry is a sea snake, and they do go by Jormungandr in other places. So I don't think an earthquake would do much against them since the earthquakes are caused by their father in their case. So I saw a move. At first it sounds like a good move. Like the the attack based off the person's level like if they're level hundred, it would do a hundred damage, which is good. Yeah. However, if they're level one, it would only do one damage. <laughs> Yeah. You, you gotta make sure you're fighting something high level to use it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bookworm found what the move in prison does. As long as the user remains in battle, opponents cannot use any move which is also known by the user. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, more, more earthquakes. Just constantly ca causing instant death. Just kill the fucking random sheep. It was in the way. That's so mean. Like I said, it was in the fucking way. I don't care. Just it... you could literally like you could just have your Pokemon pick the sheep up and set it aside. If it gets in my way, it must die. Unpheasant. <laughs> Dynamic uh, punch! Damn it! <laughs> Let's try this again. I punched the shit out of it so much. So badly that it died. In one punch. Oh, whoa, it was apparently One Punch Man. Just giant. Oh, was not named Saitama. Not yet. Or are you gonna change his name to Saitama? <laughs> Maybe. Guess like no three punching moves. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst name for one of your Pokemon, I believe. I punched it and it became confused. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> you gave it, it a concussion. So confusion. <laughs> you gave it a concussion and now it's hurting itself because of it. Yes. <laughs> this is just cruel. <laughs> it doesn't affect oh whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this was just a sad fight. What the fuck is Owo made of? <laughs> Stone. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and a ghost. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, look, a cute baby turtle. <laughs> Don't hurt the baby turtle! Alright, I won't punch it. Earthquake time. No! Don't hurt the turtle! But <laughs> I survived the earthquake! Jesus Christ, you're low on health. Make a punch! And it missed. <laughs> you deserve to lose after missing... A punch on a fucking tortoise. It died. Tortoise. Also, they're not stone, it's dirt because ground type. Well, oh, yeah, true. Wait. Hold on. 
It, it phases through the light bulbs. <laughs> nah, that'd be some real immersion if it just walks through the light post breaking it. Yeah. Wait, how are you in here? How did you get through the door? <laughs> it doesn't have a door anymore. Yeah. There's just a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's bigger than the Pokemon Center. Oh god. <laughs> How are you why are this? you why are you walking around with this thing? How did you get in there? Oh well, it was just literally a Titan. Yes. <laughs> it's a fucking armored Titan. <laughs> Pokemon Center bigger on the inside than on the outside. Let's hope so. I think I think you just put him in your like wall, his ball like whenever you go in. Oh, you put them in their ball. Because they're in not the binary. <laughs> it this book would decided to roll up in a ball and fling itself at at Owo. Why is there a what why is there a land nautilus? There was one of those. <laughs> Damn. Oh my gosh, it's Angie's child! I see. It dies by earthquake. You are an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> the book where Russell said kill the child. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about the child, it's just the fact that you're gonna be damaging so much infrastructure. As well as that, as well as destroying the fault lines of the earth. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? It's a swampert. That doesn't help me. Magnitude. Magnitude it's nine. Like it's like you're out and about with like some <laughs> random guy, and you ask, "Hey, what's that animal?" And he goes, "It's a slingenbongen." <laughs> like, okay, that's what it's called. That doesn't help me understand what the fuck it is. Oh, apparently with the kill the child thing, Brooklyn was thinking Angie kills the child. Oh. That's even worse. Why? <laughs> Just have Angie kill their own child. Oh, I bear we... Why are we turning Pokemon into a domestic abuse simulator? Oh, look, it's a flying whale. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that whale? It's flying. I, I remember catching this before in my previous uh, Insurgents play playthrough I mean, when a save got lost. It, it flies in the air, I kid you not. Yeah, but it's like covered in snow and ice. That yeah, can't it's be an, healthy. It's an ice flying type. But, but it's a whale. Uh, Angie, mind coming out? <laughs> like, it can withstand really cold temperatures, but I, I don't think it would be doing very well if it had snow and icicles on it. Leaving you, Angie. Yeah, that was, that was very quick. <laughs> I didn't want to eat everyone to assert dominance. Wait, I wonder if I can get those two whale wars to, bre uh, to breed. What would its child look like? Uh, why is that your first thought? I 
ice and water. <laughs> Would it also be able to fly and swim in the water? <laughs> hey, Bright. So, yeah. you see, here's here's this funny thing. There's actually a lot of animals that can fly and swim. You see, like, there's, there's pelicans. I was talking and, about a whale and... that can fly and swim. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're assuming that a whale can fly all of a sudden, and assuming that to be the case, <laughs> it follows that it would also still be able to swim because it's a motherfucking whale. <laughs> well, the ice whale can't swim. Why wouldn't... Wait, What? why wouldn't the ice whale be able to swim? Yeah, the ice flying whale can't swim. <laughs> it's a whale! What the fuck? It's kids in this game, it can't swim, it just flies instead. Maybe maybe it's like one of those whales from the uh what is it called? From like Star Wars Rebels. I don't remember those. Uh, they're, they're like flying whale things. Oh my gosh, it's Godzilla. Drown it. Okay. Right to drown. This is not a very impressive Godzilla. <laughs> it this section reminds me of the King Kong vs. Godzilla a movie which actually had two endings. Mm -hmm. The actual ending was Godzilla defeated King Kong. But King Kong was making a lot of money in America, so they changed it in America. Um. But how they changed it in America was that Godzilla drowned. <laughs> Godzilla has gills. <laughs> they breathe underwater. They, they can't drown. Wait, why would they have gills? Godzilla has gills. They they live underwater. But yeah, but I'm questioning why they would have gills. They're a lizard. Hey, Hatchet, I don't know what I just okay. You know, this might anger you a bit, but Godzilla's technically not fully a lizard. It's canonical that they're half gorilla, half whale. Uh, wait. <laughs> they're ha Wait, <laughs> wait, they're half what? Half they're gorilla, half, half what? whale. That's actually what they're... their Japanese name means. <laughs> they're half gorilla and half whale. Yep. Wait, what? How did the gorilla <laughs> get to the ocean? And how did the whale develop gills? What the f what kind of cracked out shit was those creators on? Oh yeah, Gojira. Uh That's that's what Pokemon looks up. Yeah. So technically not a lizard. Well, actually it also depends on which Timeline of Godzilla. Because I hate to tell you that, but there's multiple timelines. <laughs> there's the one where he's half girl, half whale, uh, half whale. There's one where on an island a nuclear bomb was dropped on top of a T Rex and made Godzilla. <laughs> where did they get the T Rex? <laughs> I don't know. Where did the T-Rex come from? Those fuckers have been dead for 75 million years. Yeah, and 
And there's one time. And also, oh. and no, 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 no. I need a harp on this for a second. And also, how the fuck would nuking a T Rex lead to Godzilla? <laughs> It's a nuke. It's just going to kill the big lizard. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Yeah, it's not an actual lizard, but still, like, uh, like, uh, what the fuck? Like, like, did, did humans, like, once they got <laughs> nuked, did they turn into giant monkeys? Or did they just fucking die? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Pokemon also brought up something interesting about uh, Godzilla's Japanese name. It is also a metaphor for a, nu a nuclear disaster. Yeah, I know that much. Like, yeah. the initial inspiration for it came from uh, the first creator um, getting an aerial view of uh, Bikini Atoll. Yeah. So, um... And the final. And I mean, oh, sorry. I was gonna say, and I mean, there's there's a lot of reason for Japanese creators to have symbolism towards nuclear disaster. Yeah, and uh, there's one timeline. Where, I kid you not, all the spirits that were killed in World War uh, World War Two uh, World War Two formed and created Godzilla and decided to wreak havoc. I, I see. <laughs> Korea, Kuchua. Owing to the fact that in one planning stage, Godzilla was described as a cross between a gorilla and a whale due to its size, power, and origin. Saturated a bit, lol. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. But yeah, like. Like, I, I can't imagine why Japan would have a lot of theming around nuclear disaster. Right. Yeah, also, uh... Um... Hey, hell, my, my favorite anime, Attack on Titan, like, the final season is just, like, the rumbling is basically just a massive metaphor for nuclear war. Well, I don't think it... I think it... Okay, so... I didn't... Say a whale girl fucked in Great Godzilla. <laughs> well, you said it was half gorilla and half whale. That's what it implies. <laughs> Do you not know how to make hybrids bright? Anyway, the the fourth and final oh well the final timeline, which is the most recent one, not the American one. But Basically, is this weird bloody lizard amalgamation that that's constantly evolving and created Godzilla. You got to the point where they had to freeze it in order to make it stop because it was going to create human Godzilla things that would wreak havoc. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So technically, it depends on which timeline of Godzilla you want to look at as to what the fuck they are. We don't look at the first American timeline with Godzilla. What's the first American timeline with Godzilla? Where he's a fucking iguana that got irradiated and he became that Godzilla. That makes more sense than most of what you've been saying. Yes. However... He only ha has physical strength and agility. He does not have his fire breath. Okay. And and he's very weak to missiles and tanks. As most living things tend to be. When the actual Godzilla isn't. In Japan. He takes that like a champ. Oh look, it's a god. I'm gonna punch it. I've seen comics where that thing's been captured by someone for reasons. It tried to use revenge, but it, 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 it can't hurt me using revenge. And I gave it a concussion. You gave a god a concussion. 
Let that sink in. <laughs> it bit me. <laughs> it bit you? Yes. Of all the things it could do to you, it bit you? Yes. Oh my god. Wh <laughs> Why? Oh, it's whoa, like hit them. <laughs> it's, it snapped out of its confusion. It no longer has a concussion. It gave my character a concussion. <laughs> it just passed the concussion along. The real talk, like, like, this, this thing biting you. It's like, if you walk up to someone, they are armed to the teeth, okay? Like, they've got two AR-15s, like, like two revolvers at their waist. Like, they are very heavily armored. And you just walk up to them, and the way that they deal with you is by stepping on your foot. <laughs> yeah. Oh! The Gorilla Will timeline. I messed it up. That's right. I forgot. What happened was that there was this skeleton that was at the bottom. And when they. that was near Bikini Atoll. So when it went off, the skeleton got irradiated and it created Godzilla. That's what happened. I messed that timeline up. I'm sorry. That's the first timeline, by the way. A skeleton. Yes. <laughs> a dead thing yeah. got irradiated. Mm -hmm. And somehow that led to a fire breathing lizard creature. I don't think there was much flesh or organs on the skeleton bookworm. There might have been some, but not much. Either way, it's dead. Radiation does not bring things back to life. Hey, Hatchet, there's a Godzilla movie that ends with just Godzilla's heart still beating. <laughs> That's it. So Godzilla's still alive, but just the heart. <laughs> if there is a litter... Uh... Godzilla survives on spite alone. <laughs> yep. FBI, open up! Right, you do have the soundboard turned on, right? Yeah. Alright. Aww. Alright, earthquake time. Don't earthquake the baby. <laughs> Damn it. You're a monster. Wait, Bookworm! Yay, pretty rolls! I have this baby! Bye-bye, <laughs> baby. Did I just kill Bookworm's child? <laughs> <laughs> if you did, then Bookworm is very quick to forgive and forget. Yup. <gasps> a Vaporeon! We're not fucking it. Did you know that in terms of human <laughs> <Shut up>. ex <laughs> No, just their sibling. It's this book. I killed their sibling. It used acid armor. <laughs> Stop missing, oh whoa. Hey guys, did you know that in Shut terms up. of male, human, and female Pokemon <laughs> breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeon are an average of Man, three feet and three inches tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able, be able to handle human dicks with their 
aggressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, you can be rough with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there is no doubt... Wait, who was that? Oh, it was just... Okay. <laughs> you got tricked for once. Well, I mean, yeah, we're in, we're in a chat where the child could show up. I can't read this in front of the child. <laughs> well, anyway... <laughs> That's what I meant to make you think. Yeah. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind an aroused vaporeum... Oh, God damn it, bookworm. ...would be incredibly wet. So wet that you could easily have sex with one for hours without getting sore. They can also learn the moves Attract, Baby Doll Eyes, Captive Charm, and Tail Whip. Along with not having fur to hide nipples. <laughs> so it'd be incredibly easy for one to get you in the mood. <laughs> with their abilities, water absorb and hydration, they can easily recover from fatigue. And with enough water, no other Pokemon comes close to this level of compatibility. Also, fun fact, if you pull out enough you can make your Vaporeon turn white. Vaporeon is literally built for human dick. Ungodly defense stat plus high HP pool plus acid armor means it can take cock all day. All shapes and sizes and still come for more. Fuck <laughs> That's the end of the copy pasta. I would laugh if Nintendo confirms this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> someone wrote that and posted it unironically. Which, you know what? I respect that. As someone who does nothing but... Wait, Bookworm's also putting the copy pasta. Why? In their children's game, right? Not likely. I mean, not in the game, like on Twitter. I mean, they, they kind of messed up once. Yeah, they played the song on their TikTok. Or it's a happy birthday song in, in Lucario, but it's instead of it being like a regular happy birthday song, it's the happy fucking birthday song. Yeah. <laughs> they they messed up once. I can see them doing it. I mean, you say that book, but there was that time that uh, in like one of the Princess Peach games, Nintendo encouraged children to uh, look around their house in search of the Vibe Scepter. Oh God! Has your mother been? Acting fairly happy lately, she's probably been using the vibe scepter. I, I, it took me a, a small moment to understand what you were implying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's an actual thing. It, it, like, uh, it's like from one of the Princess Peach games on like the DS, and the end, like the ending screen features a text talking about the vibe scepter. No, know what? Let me go look that up and read that now. What is happening to the stream? <laughs> Borgo says, oh, I see it. <laughs> oh, God, it's, it's the god of all Pokemon. <laughs> Who will win, Alwo or the god of all Pokemon? <laughs> it used natural gift, but it failed. <laughs> Dynamic punch! Stop missing! Owo beat God. Owo is now God now. 
Okay, so here's uh here, here's here's what we have. The narrator at the end of the game goes the, the Vibe Scepter has strange and mysterious powers, that's for sure. So how do you feel about this last adventure? One thing about that scepter, no one knows who created it or why, but somewhere, someone might possibly be using it right now. What? Your dad got mad at you the other day, you say? Your mom's been laughing happily a lot? Maybe, just maybe... The Vibe Scepter is hidden away in your house somewhere. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought, but it's still just... Hey, how did you miss me killing... Oh, well, killing God. Yes. I was yeah. too busy looking for the Vibe Scepter. Yeah, Owo killed God, so Owo's now God. <laughs> oh yeah, and the vibe the the vibe scepter also looks vaguely like a Hitachi. Oh God, bookworm! Dad mad at mom actually. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you do that in your own time? I've never been able to get you to do that. Sounds like a skill issue. Very much so. God damn it, oh well. Also, why is there a fucking flaming rock millipede? That's technically a, a bug Pokemon. Well, I mean, yeah, that it's gonna do that. They make spiders bugs. Why wouldn't they make most arthropods bugs? Come to think of it, do millipedes actually curl? Yeah, millipedes do curl up like that. Why was? That's a stupid question. <laughs> I know that. I've seen like I literally saw a millipede doing that when I was doing lard yard work. Lard work. Are you good? Yes. No. Maybe a little bad. I don't know. It's a furret. God, the I furret, fucking hate that name. The furret used helping hand, but there was no target. Hey, everyone, look. It's the lamest weasel. It keeps using helping hand. It wants to help people. But oh, oh it just keeps, like, attacking it. Oh, woe is death. Oh, woe's the oh, death woe god. Death. Oh, woe kills. Why did it zoom in on Owo's oh, ass? <laughs> oh, no, it's an angry sea turtle. It's mad about the turtwig. <laughs> oh, so this is a protected species, so killing it's not a good idea. It was protected by wide guard. Right, well, dynamic huh? punch then. Fuck you. God damn it. Good. Don't hurt the sea turtle. Run. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> it killed me. <laughs> Holy shit. You need to get out of there. God couldn't kill Owo, oh, but a sea turtle. <laughs> That's one fucking beef. That's one fucking beefed up turtle. Oh yeah, it was an ancient sea turtle. Technically, it was a fossil Pokemon. Ah, uh, maybe it's like meant to be something like Archelon. Maybe, which means it's an extinct sea turtle that we also, that we tried to kill. You just. Oh, wow, that's way worse. Yes, it that's is. Like, that's, like, absurdly, incredibly endangered. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be like if you found a thylacine today and started cutting it up.
Oh look, it's the Pokemon God of Nightmares. What the fuck? Burn it. Or I guess punch it. Earthquake. It used hypnosis. It put Owo That's... to sleep. Oh god, how does Owo even sleep? Owo is having a bad dream? No! Owo, wake up! Owo woke up. <laughs> they listen to you, Hatchet. Good. You know, if the enemy just used a faint attack, that means they didn't actually hit you. How did you take damage? <laughs> I killed the Pokemon God of Nightmares. Uh. <laughs> Pokemon good edgy boy. Also, I I found out what snake I'd probably want to get first if I ever get a pet snake. Mm -hmm. and it's the hognose snake. They live they they live here in America. They have a fairly stable wild population, and they are like one of the best snakes to handle. Like the interesting thing is, they do have a medically significant venom. Okay, but. Like, you have to be deliberately trying to get bit for them to bite you. Because they have... They, they are very docile. And their threat responses are very notable. So, like, the first thing they'll do is try to hide. If that doesn't work, they'll try to get big and hiss really loud. Like, normal snakes. Then, instead of actually biting, they will like hit you with their shovel nose like they'll just they'll just bonk you with their shovel nose if that doesn't work they'll fucking play dead <laughs> and then if they if that doesn't work then they will bite you <laughs> <laughs> although it's technically it's it's technically not that they're playing dead and more that they're like doing a type of musking where like uh these snakes in the wild eat toads a lot and they sequester toads' uh, poisons. So basically, when they do that, they're just letting off some of that poison to make any predator around them very aware that they, if they eat this snake, they're going to get a belly full of toad toxins. Yeah. Also, Hatchet, you know how snakes shed their skin, right? Well, yeah. There was actually this uh, YouTuber I watched where they... We're trying to figure out this way to get this dead snake skin to unstick from the snake so it's stuck. And apparently, one of the most effective ways to do it is put them in Orbeez. That's really bad for the snake. Actually, they tested it and it's actually good for them because they have a lot of moisture in Orbeez. Yeah, but the chemicals in Orbeez oh, right. tend to, like, severely mess with the snake. True. To me, to me, literally all like if I'm not mistaken, the main thing you want to do around molts is to make sure they have enough humidity. Yeah, that's true. So I was just like, saying that, but I saw yeah. that. Yeah, like if I'm not mistaken, once reptiles literally very, like not very recently, but did an entire video working to debunk the myth that ORVs are good for snakes. Uh, I did not see that. I always saw like YouTube short uh, YouTube short about it. No. Which they said it was good, so I guess it's not. <laughs> it's almost as if you shouldn't trust YouTube sor shorts as a primary source. Well, I didn't. I just saw yeah. it and was like, okay. <laughs> That's the, that's literally you trusting it. <laughs> I didn't trust it. I'd rather use like warm water. Oh, wa warm. Hold on. No, shut the D fuck up. Discord trying to silence me. I said I'd rather use warm water. Well, yeah, obviously. I, I wouldn't like go to like Orbeez. But yeah, I'd rather use warm water. That's something interesting I uh, saw. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, like Clint's Reptiles did a thing where like he did his standard pet rating 
Mm -hmm. uh, but it was Mother's Day, so we did it for human children. <laughs> uh, needless to say, human children have the lowest score of any animal they've reviewed. <laughs> they've reviewed oh, the God. black tip reef shark. Like, they've reviewed rattlesnakes, gaboon vipers, uh, multiple types of crocodilians. Humans? Human children are the worst pets. By far. But that's also, you know, taking the rather joking route of trying to look at a human as a pet. Which is, you know, not what you should be doing. <laughs> yep. But, like, if you do look at humans as a pet, they are the worst pets. I feel like someone's oh. just gonna clip you just saying, if you look at a human as a pet, they're the worst pets. <laughs> and it's just I no mean, context. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with someone hearing that out of context. It's objectively <laughs> the case. Humans make terrible pets. <laughs> Oh. I, although I thought it was really funny like he has a table where he keeps animals while he's talking about them and for that video he had his two uh, for that video uh, unless they're into that only consensual pet play true true <laughs> but in that case it's not an actual pet it's two equal partners but anyway um uh, during the video, like, for the gag, he had his two kids sitting up where he normally has reptiles and stuff sitting. <laughs> and the kids are just sitting there, and one, one of, like, I think his son at one point mentions, like, why are we, why, why are we getting such a low score? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, it's just really, def like, like like jokingly defeated but he, he was he was very kind to his kids it's it's obvious that it was just a goofy gag and the kids understood that but yeah like human children got a 0 0.6 out of 5 <laughs> the lowest score of anything he has ever looked at to put that into perspective rattlesnakes as a pet was given like 3.6 out of 5. Oh. The black tip reef shark got maybe 1. Point something out of 5. Because like on on the scales that they use being uh handle ability, hair, uh what is it? Handle ability hair um availability upfront costs and <laughs> oh, what's what's the last one <gasps> oh my god what so fighting type moves don't work on owo so to meditate, try to use high jump kick. Jump in the air, try to kick Owo. Doesn't work. It fell to the ground and died. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it just sprints into combat, kicks you, fails miserably, and dies. <laughs> Oh gee, yeah, high wait, jump wait. kick is hilarious if it fails. Yeah. Oh look, Pokemon God of Victory. Now which one is it, Hatchet? I mean... I'm guessing it's the stone thing. No. Oh. It's literally the Pokemon that has a V on its head. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> It's stupid, but it makes sense. Yeah. Right, that's right. So the... Um... The five categories that he rates animals as pets on are, uh... 
handleability, care, hardiness, upfront costs, and availability. And, like, human children got very low on most of these. Damn. Damn. Handleability? Uh, kids are kind of little monsters. They're, they're hard to handle. Uh, upfront costs? Holy fucking shit. <laughs> uh, accessibility. You, you need to, you need to ideally either fi find an adopted child, which is a massive, like, over the top pain in the ass, or you need to find someone to bone, which is also kind of hard. Uh, let's see, um, Elro care. killed Angie. Care, again, children are really fucking hard to care for. And, uh, um, hardiness? Children can die very easily. Like, it's, it, it, it's just awful. Objectively awful. As pets. He makes it very clear at the end that he's like, you know, this is a day about appreciating, uh, the people who do, uh, accept the responsibilities of uh, creating a better future for humanity. And, you know, like, it was really wholesome at the end, but it's still just fucking funny. I'm trying to think. I think, like, for mammals as pets, uh, the highest rated mammal so far has been rat and then cat. And then maybe dogs. Yeah. Cat's got a pretty mid middling handle ability, like a three handle ability, which makes sense. Cats are kind of monsters. Especially towards me. Yeah. Like, I would literally just pass by a cat, and they'll just hiss at me for no reason. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> and I think the the main reason why dogs got a lower score uh, is because um, the disparity between having a pet that is like a nice little aside that makes your life happier mm -hmm. and having a pet that is an entire lifestyle change. And dogs very much are a lifestyle change if you don't already have dogs. Mm -hmm. While cats, like... You, you give them litter, you give them food, and they're going to take care of themselves. They're really self-sufficient. Oh yeah, I also learned that apparently rabbits are, like, just absurdly fragile. Yeah. Like, if you, like, I, I, I did not know this, and it makes me sad, because someone I used to pet sit for likely unintentionally caused a severe spinal injury to one of their rabbits because uh, rabbit spines are absurdly fragile and the only appropriate way to handle a rabbit is by making sure that you are supporting their entire weight. If you pick up a rabbit and have its weight resting mostly on its spine, it can be incredibly disastrous. Holy fucking shit. What is that? Oh my god, that looks fucking awesome. It's got snake hands, it's got a snake head, it's got it's cheery. snake everything. No, it's not cheery. I don't mean to diss Jerry. Oh, Jerry but... killed Nom. Oh. <laughs> looks like grass. Well, Angie's like... dead, because Owo killed him. Owo killed Angie? Yes. <laughs> Owo went... Owo went berserk? Yes. Ice punch. Probably because Bro used Magnitude. Maybe. Like oh. Bitch he is. Wait, okay, so the Earthquake can hurt your Pokemon as well? Yeah. Yes. Dumbass. Yeah. She's definitely a dumbass. Apparently that was not even a grass people. type. It was ground and poison. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh yeah, like in terms of spiders, uh, Black Widows actually got a really high score as well, which I thought was cool. Yeah, I actually met Black Widows in real in my because they're in abundance in my state. They're pretty chill as long as you don't mess with them. Yeah, like they are like very unlikely to bite. But the brown recluses are massive pieces of shit. <laughs> I mean, to my understanding, recluses are also like very similarly dispositioned to uh <laughs> Black Widows. No, the reason I say this is because I remember being chased by one. <laughs> Are you sure he was a recluse? Yeah. Like, violin shape on the head? Yeah. Hmm. That's... That's really odd behavior. <laughs> like I guess it was just pissed off. <laughs> why, why, what is it with you and finding animals that are just like abnormally pissed at you? <laughs> like they're called recluses for a reason. They're fairly secretive. Like, like, <laughs> reclusive spiders. Yeah. It's also why I refuse to wear boots. Oh, oh no. That's fair. Hi. Uh, recluses are known to hide in boots. Yeah. It boots make for a good hiding spot for them cuz they like uh dark, damp places generally, and boots commonly fill that bill. Just be glad you don't live in Australia. <laughs> yeah. As then you might be seeing stuff like Sydney funnel webs in your boots. Yeah, I actually watched a YouTuber who said he he woke up in his bed. He lives in Australia. He woke up in his bed, felt something on his leg, lifted the covers, and found a full-grown huntsman spider on his leg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's less terrifying. If I'm not mistaken, Huntsmans aren't... aren't dangerously venomous. Yeah. But... that... that is... that is an experience. Yeah. At least I wasn't a Goliath Bird Eater. I mean, I'd probably prefer a Goliath Bird Eater, because they'd be easier to handle. But aren't they, like, bigger? Yeah, they're much bigger, but that makes them easier to handle. And they tend to be, like... Like, that's the thing. With a Huntsman Spider, they're very fast, speedy little buggers. So, like, if you're wanting to, like, get it out of the house and away from you, uh, it'd be easier to handle the Bird Eater, because it's bigger and slower. Yeah. Uh-oh. I remember there's this one story it, that happened in Australia where I think someone was importing a Komodo dragon illegally. Uh. And it was found inside of a store on on the ceiling. <laughs> what? The, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they can climb. I mean, I know they can climb, but I, like, I don't think it's normal for them to be able to go upside down. <laughs> well, apparently it was upside down. It would just what it stayed there for, like, I think they said an hour and 30 minutes. The fucking dropped. spider. <laughs> fucking spider dragon. Yeah. And what's the funny part? I think it's it's in an article. I don't... It's a while since I read it, but I think it, it landed on top of a cop. <laughs> <laughs> That's a surprise. You just cut Anti looks up, see the giant ass lizard. <laughs> Anti pig defense force. Yeah. <laughs> Which is actually kind of funny because before humans went to uh, mess up their uh, food chain on their island, they used to eat mm. pigs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's not entirely wrong. <laughs> Fucking dolls. Yeah, but now instead of eating pigs, they eat deer and humans. Yeah. <laughs> well, humans unbelievably rarely. Yeah. 
it's you they're actually kind of smart because from what i've seen like what they they studied with them they usually only attack humans when they're vulnerable i mean yeah that's a pretty common thing for animals okay. animals are pretty good at sus or like especially like ambush predators tend to be pretty good at sussing out when a prey item is like sick or weakened or young and then those are the ones they tend to go for the most because well they'll be the easiest to kill all right hatchet i wasn't paying attention its health was still in the green so when it did its last move it hurt itself to get it to red to raise its attack <laughs> damn this thing doesn't have much of a will to live. Nope, it is dead. Crunch. This was a bad idea to keep keep Nom out. Uh, Ingi, take care of it. <laughs> Whenever there's a Pokemon in trouble, we just send out Ingi. <laughs> send in the angry boy. <laughs> Even though it was super effective, it barely did any damage. Jesus Christ, what is this thing? <laughs> he just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> we have made a monster hatch. You say weave as, as if I've had anything to do with it. Wait, he This is on you. What's he crash? The well, user slams its target with its flame-covered body. The more the user outweighs the target, I'm guessing more damage it does. I mean, I would imagine so, yeah. Nah, I'm not. Yeah, stop. We don't need Heat Crash. Because that's mainly good against baby Pokemon. And really small Pokemon. But, like, if you're <laughs> able to fight this, it wouldn't work much. What? You know what I meant. You just like... This would be really good if you crushed a baby. <laughs> Are you aware that crushing tends to be a very effective strategy against baby? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I wasn't wrong. I mean, you're not wrong, but that doesn't change how fucking absurdly awful it is. <laughs> Book was probably gonna clip that. Abortion clinics hate him. This man found out one trick to easily get rid of <laughs> babies. <laughs> Or I guess woman. I was thinking just like generally those sorts of ads. I like this fossil Pokemon, but its design looks so goofy. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. It's like one of those ancient sea scorpions. And it killed Nom. And stole Nom's berry. Damn. Wait, it just stole... Yeah. Why? That's mean. <laughs> you like that Pokemon now? I mean, it's cool. But it's oh, I don't see why a scorpion would want a berry, because I'm pretty sure scorpions are all carnivorous. You will never know. I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised if there was an omnivorous. 
scorpion out there. Oh, God. Fucking honey badgers. I forgot what... F oh, wait. I think it's... Yeah, the dumpy tree frog. You know how I... I showed you guys what they look like. They, they're all so dumpy looking. Yeah. Apparently, I'm... it's been found out. If you draw a circle around them, they will refuse to leave the circle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like that's a relatively common thing with a lot of, like, smaller animals because they're trying to stay, n like, like, most animals are edge-oriented where they want to follow something that has some kind of definable edge so that they can figure out where they are. And sometimes you can exploit that to very comical results. <laughs> I just saw, like, they, they drew a circle around this uh, dumpy tree frog, and then he tried pushing its butt over to go forward and refused to move its front legs. <laughs> it's like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I will not cross this line. <laughs> you will not make me break the etiquette. Oh, hey, there's a rhino. Yeah, funny thing about rhinos, I saw a lot of videos about uh, zookeepers with rhinos, and they act like puppy dogs towards the zookeepers. I mean, yeah, like most animals, they can be trained, but uh, it's not a very good idea to try to do that frequently. <laughs> you yeah. need to be an expert. Rhinos are not particularly smart animals. And on top of them not being very smart, they are also incredibly massive and dangerous, which is a very bad combination if you're a tiny little human nearby. Yeah. And when I say they aren't smart, I mean there are, like, many instances of them becoming confused and attacking trees and bushes thinking that they was a predator. <laughs> I forget they do that. They're fucking, they, they are so fucking stupid and we love them for it. Yeah. Just, you just want to stay away from them. Wait, Bookworm sent me a DM. Uh oh. Gonna heat crash your babies? <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I need to do. Probably after heat stream, I need to, uh, no. I need to look at the, um, clips and see what to put in the VODs and extras channel. Uh, Chu, I don't know how to speak Japanese. I don't... I don't think that's Japanese. I'm guessing that that is the fake squid language that the squid sisters sing. Yeah, probably. I think it's inkling or oculing. Yeah. It's fine, that doesn't translate to anything. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Like, the, the inkling language is just basically complete gibberish. I don't know why, but for some of those words, it just makes me, reminds me of some Japanese words. That I've seen. I mean, it's, I mean, it's almost as if it's a gibberish language designed by da Japanese people. Shut up. I mean, I, I, like, it's, it's. It's very strange that there's similarities to Japanese in a gibberish language designed by Japanese speakers. I can't imagine how that came to be. Man, shut the fuck up! Fuck you. <laughs> I'm lighting a white tiger on fire. Oh, as you can see, Hatch has become a poacher. I'm not a poacher, I'm an arena gladiator. 
It's very major difference. I, I kill the animals that the other guys poached. For, for the entertainment of random people. That doesn't sound any better. No, Kimba's a white lion, not a white tiger. <laughs> yeah. I think I saw a video where it was talking about how some people believe that Kimba was, uh, like, shit, what was it? Ripping off the Lion King or something like that? I think, no, the, the, the way that it tends to go is saying that the Lion King ripped off Kimba. Ah. Which it's, it's really dumb. Yeah. It's a really dumb, weird American conspiracy theory. Yeah. That, like, isn't, like, like, literally the, like, current family members of the guy who made Kimba, uh, Asamu Tezuka. Or Tezuka Asamu, I don't, I don't, I can't remember which one's the given name and the family name. Either way. Uh, his current relatives have just outright said, "This whole thing is stupid." Disney, <laughs> Disney did not rip off Kimba. What? No, I didn't turn down stream sound alerts. Why? Anyway, yeah. I'm gonna have Alphonse play rough the Garchomp. Uh, okay. Wait, Alphonse is. It's the guy Garchomp's the woman, oh no. <laughs> well Garchomp got fucked to death. Fuck. Hot. Hatchet. <laughs> Chew sees Garchomp. Uh oh. It's looking more like domestic abuse. Oh god. <laughs> This, this is aimed at Chu, and then at Bright, and then at me. It's aimed at... Yeah, I'm up. There you guys go. <laughs> Dern is just machine gunning bonks. <laughs> <laughs> I hear an elephant. The fuckers sent an elephant in the arena. <laughs> I just watched a guy get yeeted by an elephant. Good. Ah, there's no one left for the elephant to kill but me! You like all your allies die? How could you? They're not my allies. In, in 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 the arena, there's nothing but enemies. Also, just to get more more teasing, guess what Chu is looking for this week? What? Ganon? <laughs> Bookworm? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll no. guess. Uh, a, a dragon devour you? <laughs> a real life Pokemon devour you? <laughs> a python devour you? <laughs> Whale well, Lord? <laughs> Ma Wiles' book. <laughs> No, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> you say that as if everything we've said is not entirely in character. Or, or incorrect. You. Yeah. She was trying to find male Magab. Oh yeah, you had mentioned that at one point. <laughs> oh my gosh, so close. <laughs> I forgot about that. 
But I'm also currently being chased by a rhino, so... I God think damn I'm it, Dark Rai. They put Owo to sleep again. Wake up, Owo. Uh... <laughs> I only got 10 arena points for killing a fucking rhino. That is bullshit. Not any worse. That was spirits. Good sizes. That's unironically bigoted. And I will die because they're having a bad dream. F. <laughs> Bookworm. Best ass. Plus some of those were a hundred fucking dollars. Yeah. I gotta yeah. save like a hundred fifty or so to get my vinegar rune. Gotta have a sugar <laughs> <laughs> That's what Bookworm said. Or sugar, or sugar partner. partner. True. Have I ever said how I've been asked to, to be a sugar baby like six times? Why? I, okay. <laughs> I denied it every time. Real talk, if someone asked me to do that, I would probably heavily consider it. I have no money. Yeah, but in return, they wanted me to send new pictures of myself. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> These sorts of arrangements are only fine if everyone in it is consenting. And fine with everything. I just love how nothing in my life is ever normal. Obviously. <laughs> it can never be normal. Normality is boring. What is normal? <laughs> Says book. It on the dryer. God damn it. Time to light a white tiger on fire. We are almost it's I'm literally about to end stream soon and and luckily my final Pokemon's almost at level 40. I just would like them to stop dying. <laughs> And no guessing who, that's against the rules. Asher. Momo. <laughs> but we're also said Asher. Easy. <laughs> yeah, it is a really easy guess. No. Lilith. <laughs> or Dixie. I could Dixie. think of. Yeah. She's gonna hate us. <laughs> eh. We oh, all know shit, he loves it. They bought that. <laughs> Why would you say that? Right, because now we know. So is Ash. It's obviously Ash. I used an LMG on bears. Because he wants to be found out. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> because he wants to be exposed publicly for his degeneracy. Hmm. <laughs> 
with a rat. Loud shoe whining. Fuck you, Chew. That was Jesus. so mean. <laughs> My mouth is bigger, bitch. <laughs> I just had Nom eat that rat. Fuck Worm. <laughs> Now shut the fuck up. Okay, toes. If I get lucky, I only need one more Pokemon. I'm on. Don't punk me. Everyone bonk the chew. That is the Pokemon Devil. <laughs> We killed God. Now we fight the Pokemon Devil. No, I'm almost killed the Pokemon Devil. Shame we don't have any balls, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, you bitch! <laughs> oh, did he blow up or something? No, he used a move that makes it so if he dies, my Pokemon dies. Oh, God. No, it's Destiny Bond. Not Parasong. Emulite Chew, we don't have balls. Yeah, Bright, Bright does not have any balls. Yeah, I'm a woman. Why would surgery? I have balls? That's cisphobic. <laughs> Not cisphobic. Cis sexist. That's the word I was looking for. Cisphobic. That was the wrong thing. Let's see, how broke am I? If it loads. Please don't crash, because I have not saved. Oh, thank fuck. I only have $43. <laughs> <laughs> For a second there, I thought it crashed and I'll have to start everything all over. That would be so awful. I quick saved. <laughs> so. Chew board sitting in the car. Or get out of the car. Don't worry, Chew. <laughs> Two hours later. Fight trainers then, says Book. Potatoes. Oh my gosh, it's it's Dragonite. Attention. Just a preemptive bonk towards Chu. Because there's a dragon on screen. <laughs> Damage. All right, go on, Alphonse. You, <laughs> you just make Bruh. the Dragonite gay. Gosh, shut up. <laughs> we have to. We have to get all of our annoying energy out now, since the stream's almost over. On. Bruh. Yes! Nom's at level 40! After string, yeah. What dog doing? Yes, queen. And it's on a stream ending screen. Alright, let's see if there's anyone to raid. Potatoes. I don't think I see anyone. Bookworm says we gonna raid Lacuna. It's her birthday. Oh, I mean, we can do that. Bruh. 
the raid, uh, the raid chant must be. How the fuck do you spell that? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> you can do it, but I'm not. That is the rating call, everybody. I'm not what Chew said to the quote. Okay, bye, Chew. Oh, take care, Chew. What did you say, Adorna? What Chew said to the quotes. There you go, see quotes and things 18. So yeah, Bright, are you just done doing like final words? Uh when I do raids, yeah. But when I'm not raiding. Uh, yeah. And three. <laughs> oh god. Two. Oh god, not the vagina. Run away from the vagina. Coward. One. <laughs> Chew called me a coward. Fuck it up. 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 <laughs> There it goes. <laughs>